This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. A Tunisian startup has been praised for its role in developing affordable bionic artificial limbs. Since launching in 2018, Cure Bionics has been working on a product that has evolved from a mechanical prosthetic solution into a battery-powered and bionic solution that can be 3D printed. CGTN's Adnan Chouachi takes a closer look at the innovation. 27 years old, Mohamed Dawafi is the founder and CEO of Cure Bionics, a startup that develops and manufactures bionic hands and arms for people with disabilities. The electronics and embedded systems engineer from the prestigious Ecole Nationale d'Ingenieurs de Sousse and his team are trying to change the lives of thousands of disabled and handicapped people in the North African country. My startup Cure Bionics is empowering people with disabilities, focusing uh, currently on people with limb differences, people who, who were born with no hands or got uh, amputations. So we are empowering them with uh, 3D printed bionic arms, uh, also with uh, physical rehabilitation solutions using virtual reality, gamification. Cure Bionics offers many products and services at an affordable price to help thousands who are in need of the artificial limbs. The startup targets to win over the prosthetics market by offering competitive prices in both the domestic and international markets where millions of people are in need of the life-changing products. Starting from the price, it will be very competitive. We are talking about one-third or one-fourth of the cheapest one in the market. Uh, we are also talking about uh, features that are empowering like the... the, 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 the the customization of the prosthetic. Actually, the users will have the, the ability to customize their prosthetics using uh, external covers that can be continuously uh, changeable. Many talented interns and engineers have joined the adventure, despite its limited financial resources and the daily technical challenges. This vibrant group is focused on innovation and scientific research. The idea behind being a young engineer working for a cause, it's it all start from a challenge, challenge, challenging ourselves at the first place, like uh, believing in ourselves to do everything, uh, and challenging the difficulties that everyone and uh, as youngs or uh, uh, people with not did not uh, find jobs or whatever, make the challenge to make your own uh, job, your own comfort zone, your own everything, like challenge the existence. Uh, the problems and uh, make it to yourself. According to the startup founder, who has also been recently featured in the Forbes Middle East 30 and the 30 2020 edition, the idea behind the launch of Cure Bionics is closely linked to the noble cause of serving people with disabilities and facilitating their lives. The initiative shows the importance of technology in achieving life goals for disabled people. Mohammed and his team plan to conquer the North African market and to internationalize by selling their made in Tunisia products globally. The Tunisian startup, which was founded at the National School of Engineers of SUS, will soon open a new research center at the Technopole of SUS. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.